Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Pointwise Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. In this video, we'll discuss pole connectors and pole domains and what they are and how to use them. Let's jump right into Pointwise. Pole connectors, also sometimes called singularities, are special types of connectors that have a dimension but no physical length, and they come up frequently when performing rotational extrusions. These types of connectors are used to maintain um, computational balance when rotating a connector such, like, such as this about one of its endpoints. And they are displayed using the circular icon centered about the point. Similarly, pole domains, uh, and here's the pole domain in this block, are used to maintain computational balance when performing rotational block extrusions. And they're defined uh, using three connectors in total, two pole connectors, and then a third connector connecting the pole connectors. Obviously, you can create these types of entities by performing an extrusion, but let's look at how you would create this block by hand. Okay, so I deleted those pole connectors, which deleted the block and the domains using them. So to recreate this block by hand, what I'm going to need to do is uh, create some pole connectors. So I'm going to go to my drop down and go down to pole. And um, it's as simple as clicking and applying. And then we need to do it again. So I now have my pole connectors, but they're displayed using that bright green color that's common for undimensioned connectors. So now I just need to dimension them to be the same as this opposing side. So that's 12. I can use the toolbar up here. Okay. So for this particular block, since I have four connectors on each end cap, I can actually just use the toolbar um, to recreate these end cap domains. But for this last uh, domain, the pole domain, it only has three connectors. So I'm going to have to go to create assemble special domain to recreate it. And I would make sure autocomplete is off just to save you some time. So first we're going to select the long connector. Then we're going to go to next edge, select one of the pole connectors. Uh, next, again, select that long connector. And finally, um, we need to select the other pole connector. And we have created our pole domain. Okay, so again, since I have six domains here, I can actually just use the toolbar to also assemble the block. But if you, if you didn't, you could assemble it using create assemble special block. And there we have it. We have recreated our rotationally extruded block by hand by recreating our pole connectors and domains. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button or subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, drop us a line below or connect with us via LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.